They'll look to throw now on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back to throw now on second and 10. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Here we go. Watch that. They'll set up a throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan win on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. Looking for Brett, intercepted. It's the 2014 NFL interception leader, Glover Quinn. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet. Zero off the board. Second down following the run. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped to the backfield. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Ezekiel Ziggy Ansah with a tackle for loss. Just think he's still learning the game of football. Didn't play a heck of a lot of it in his native country. And at BYU, was just scratching the surface before he hit the NFL. Yeah, from Ghana, where he really liked soccer and basketball, but football's okay for him, right? Yeah, I think it's worked out very well. Drafted on potential, he's realizing. Coming up later tonight, a reminder, one of the games we circled coming into the season, the Patriots at the Broncos. These two certainly have played some memorable games in recent years. They sure have. And tomorrow night, we wrap up Week 10 with the Dolphins heading up to visit the Panthers. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. 23 yards on the tuck and run.
We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in might be a little bias. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. this up to about the 40. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Come on, let's go! Now this time he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. The Browns on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. Back to throw here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course. In the Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. They'll look to throw pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Tavon Wilson. He has been interception prone here. In the NFL scoreboard, third quarter now in Tennessee. And that one pretty well wrapped up. The Bengals growing the lead even further. Andy Dalton with one touchdown pass thus far. And the Browns getting set to go. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now... It's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just and a big loss here as he's taken down. Ziggy Ansah. He's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know maybe this game—it's not over yet—but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different. And the pressure gets to him again. Armani Bryant—he's the one to get him this time. 
And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. On first down, it, they'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Back to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Set the valve. His first touch. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get back. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Armani Bryant. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. The Browns on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third down and 12. Four down, four down. Here we go. Flex round. Flex round. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down with needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation. But Charles, it's one thing to win.